Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, for those who have been looking for a vegetation add-on that can give you not just that amazing tree, high quality, but at the same time give you something that has animation, put a little bit of life in your scene, today you guys are in luck because we are taking a look at a beautiful add-on that has just been announced by the folks at Blender Now, known as the Vegetation 3 add-on. Now, the folks at Blender Now have been known for doing some very cool stuff and of course from the transportation tool which you guys might probably have seen, which is a car and vehicle add-on that comes with fully rigged cars that you can just throw into your scene and start animating. So the same guys have just released the Vegetation 3 add-on and this add-on comes with a couple of cool stuffs which includes 362 variations of trees that you can generate, comes with animated leaves, animated trunks which means there is going to be animation for all of the leaves and trunks which you can throw in and at the same time you will be having access to 98 high quality assets. Meanwhile, one of the cool things that you'll be getting out of this is right now they're doing a 10% off so this is to commemorate the fact that this has just been announced and is going to be available for a couple of days. So link is going to be in the description for those who like to check it out and also get this. Now, with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this add-on actually works. So with Blender simply open, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. Now once you've downloaded and installed the add-on, press N on the keyboard and you'll notice that we have vegetation right here. So if I click on vegetation, you'll notice there's a couple of things. Let's get rid of the cube and right here from the all section, you can preview all of these things, all right? You can preview all of the things that you want. First off, you would notice that we'll have some ornament plants, we have some pots, some shrubs, trees, tree hedge and also tropical trees now how this works is incredible so one of the things which i like to give kudos to is the quality of the textures that you would find with the models so if i simply select the coconut palm one and click on add tree automatically it's going to be attached right here so you can see what we have now you probably wouldn't see so much details right now until we we'll switch over to ev but before we do that let's take a look at some other cool stuff Something else which you also notice is this comes in different seasons. So I can go over to autumn and see what it looks like in autumn. I can go over to winter, see what it looks like in winter and also spring. And this is not only for the tropical trees as this is applicable to all of the other trees as well. So you can also have access to tons of these trees depending on what you want. Now for those who are also excited about adding more trees and you want to get more variations, this is not a problem as you can simply select any of the trees right here. So I can go ahead and select this tree right here Hold down shift and use the right click to add my 3D cursor right there. Select the cursor because I don't want this to appear in the center. I want it to appear where the cursor is. And from there, I can click on add tree. Now, once I add that tree, automatically it's going to add. And for those who would like to, you know, make variations, you can simply do this. So I'm just going to select this model, hit shift and D on the keyboard and move this model over to a point like that. And once I grab this, I can hit on randomize to make randomization of what I would like to get. So depending on what you want, you can make randomizations and get those. And at any point in time you're making these models, they're not on the surface that you want. You can simply select all of the models and click on snap tree to ground and automatically it's going to snap. This is going to ease and save you so much time. So depending on the inclination or you know the direction that these things are, this is also automatically going to snap. So say snap to ground and automatically you have that there. So this is going to be really useful for terrains and also for all of those even flaws. So with this now, let's take a look at something else. Now, if you would like to get the winter version of any of these models, you can switch and get them. If you want to get the autumn or the spring, you can also do that. So with this said, let's actually select this, delete that, you know, throw a brand new plane on the floor. Let's scale this all the way up, select all of these and, you know, snap them to ground properly so we can have that. Go over to a position like this because I want to take a look at something else which has to do with uh, the shrubs. So let's take a look at the shrubs. So the shrubs themselves, they look pretty cool. And I like the idea that we have this human scale, which actually tells you the height of the model. So you can have a good idea of how tall the model is. So right now I can also select any of the shrubs. Let's take a look at, maybe we can get this one and click on add tree. All right, and that is going to be applied right around here. So with this here, let's zoom right in there. 
and take a look at something. So I would like to show you guys how much detail this has. Now this is high quality stuff, all right? So if you go over to where we have the viewport shading, because we want to take a look at it with Eevee, you can see that the compilation is definitely going to take a little while because the quality is really, really high. So if we simply zoom right there, you can see how much details this thing have. Really, really cool. Let's take a look at the other ones and see what we have there. Select, press the period key and go right there and you can see this for yourself so quality is extremely cool let's also take a look at that of the palm and you can see these things right there so in terms of quality you have a lot of quality and you know you can also see that from the trunk high quality stuff right here high quality stuff okay so with this done what about animation for those who like to have animation probably you're looking for that add-on that can offer you animated trees this add-on seems to be the add-on for you so if i hold down shift and right click right here i can go over and select any of these drops so depending on what i want to animate let's take a look at maybe this one so this looks good i would also click on the add tree just throw that right in there and let's zoom right to it so how does this actually work so how this works is relatively easy as all you need to do is select the model which you like to have animated then you can go over to the animation section select the preset of the kind of wind that you want so right here we have light breeze you can see medium wind strong wind and also custom so we're just going to stick with the light breeze and click on animated trunk so once we have the animated trunk selected we can also turn on the animated leaf or turn it off but we're just simply going to keep this thing the way they are and press the playback button and automatically you would notice that we have that playback happening of course this is very very slow due to the fact that we're having all the shadings and stuff so let's simply pause this and jump back over to a section like this all right so we, where we don't really spend a lot and we can press the playback button and of course you can start noticing that we have this animation happening right there for those looking for animated trees or you're looking for an add-on that can offer you animated trees animated shrubs and also high quality vegetation assets this add-on is definitely something that you should consider taking a look at so for those who would also like to do some compositions you know you want to be able to put some parts in your scene all right you want to put some parts you can click right here you can go over to the part section and you can simply hit on add i guess that should be sent to add object okay so that would be cool so we can have that as add object and we can just simply click over there and then add something else maybe we're looking for some ornament plants select something like that click on the add tree and have that right over on the top right there so this way it's easier for you to have both you know the parts and also have the stuff position properly and all of these things are shaded and high quality models that you would want to have in your scene and on your next project and of course for those who would also want to play with the surfacing you know you want to be able to do some touch up for your surfacing you can also go over to the shader section and you can start playing with the surfacing right here and get some things happening for you maybe you want to switch this all right so you're looking for something exciting you want to switch this from you know spring to autumn of course you can do these things switch over to ev and be able to see these things for yourself so let's also go over and we can dial this down and you can see this is happening in real time let's move that light over to this place maybe we can make a duplicate all right so let's duplicate that light and position that light right there i think that's a little bit too low so we can bring that one right over there and we can bring this one right here okay cool so we can have that and we can go from spring we can move this one backwards we can move this one up and we can bring that down very very lovely more like uh, something that you could call procedural in some sense so we can you know gradually bring this down i would love to see all right so you can gradually bring this down about something like that so for those who are looking or feeling excited about animating their models there you go so you want to have that next shot where you have all of these things animated because you can right click and add keyframes to this which is the beauty of this stuff so you can do that so we can have this the way it is and we can switch this to spring and you can see that we can also do something like this crazy and lovely so this is applicable to all of the models all right so it's applicable to all of the models we can also take a look at these other one so i can grab this and we can see that happening there we can switch bring this back push that up bring this back 
you know you can also switch and you can make a good mix you can make a blend in between these things and get some pretty good results out of it so this is more like it so for those looking for high quality vegetation assets you're looking for something that you can play with you want to be able to tweak this thing to your liking you know you want to have some high quality trees like these ones that we have here tweak them with seasons and you know you want to also be able to have access to some good shrubs some good ornaments some good pots and also some good trees link is going to be in the description where you can grab these things right here from the folks at blender now so all of these things are pbr ready they're working with real tree sizes optimization for blender is high quality and they're pushing for high quality photorealistic rendering so if you want to see a full list of things that you can grab from this link is going to be in the description so that you can take a look at it and that's about it tell me what you guys think about these in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace